You said the same thing I told ya My eyes are clear, there's no secret I wanna know, was it serious? I need it clear, my best friend Is it easy to show with the weight of the world on my shoulder? It's not a game that I am playing My love Trying to hold my feeling I don't know what's right Alright, Nathaniel What's up? Here we are Yeah You guys have uh, If you watched the channel before You've probably seen the glimpse of Nathaniel's car uh, Both in our new trailer actually oh, And yeah. um, in uh, the video when I, where I went to the island Your crazy sick engine bay yeah. What's this? Let's start with. Okay, come on. Let's start with the paint. Okay. What's the What's the story behind the paint? <laughs> so, it, it's a pretty long. Well, actually, it's not that long of a story. But uh, I painted the car green because uh, I'm a big fan of green cars. Yeah. Okay. It's um, a good start. And I was working at a, a little uh, um, garden uh, over in Victoria in the summer. Yeah. But anyway, and like one of the guys I was working with was joking around, being like, "Hey, like." You painted your color, your car, the color of the of the garden signs, right? Right. And right. then we were like dick, dicking around. And I was like, oh, I want to design a library. And then he was joking around, saying, oh, you should like do the roses like the garden. And then I drew it up, and then I hit up my buddy uh, Nick over at Blink, the Uvic Print Shop. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we made it happen. So I enjoy it. I like it. I think that's the thing that just like catches people's eye immediately, right? Absolutely. The paint. Yeah. And a lot of people don't do vinyls, right? A no, lot of people yeah. are just like, you know, okay, we'll just do a wrap. We'll put a wrap. I want this color, and Absolutely. then you're done with it, right? Yeah, and it's it's not super cost prohibitive these days. Like, yeah. I mean, all in all, I think it was like five, six hundred bucks. For those of you watching, yeah, it's a Toyota Cressida. I guess we should start with that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. rewind. Wait, so what year is it? Uh, this one's in 92, so the last year yeah. that they made these. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you look at it, it's an 80s car. It's a, it's an 80s car. Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah. And then what's under the hood? Uh, it's got a uh, non-VVTi uh, 1J uh, with a single turbo conversion. Awesome. Yeah. Running a decent amount of boost or... Cause um, like, I've, it's actually, actually, it's not too bad. It's like, uh, like eight or nine. Um, so, you know, it's, it's only like a smidge more than you get stock. It's just because, you know, um, single turbo, you have that larger volume, you know. Right, yeah. Yeah, really gives it that extra oomph. Yeah. And it's super loud. We haven't really got on it yet, but yeah. viewers, uh, I rode in this car before. I rode, and Nathaniel gave me a quick ride last time I was in Victoria. And uh, it's got an open wastegate on it, which is always welcome. Uh, in a Jay-Z car. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Definitely, always welcome. Um, but yeah, so it's got, I mean, it's it's slammed. You've yeah. got some wheels on it. It's got, like, it's got a really good look to it. Yeah. Um, I would imagine it gets a lot of attention. There's the wastegate. Oh, yeah. I would imagine it gets a lot of attention. Absolutely, yeah. They hooked me up with a bunch of great stuff, you know. Yeah. Jeez, that's loud. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's sick. Does that ever get old? Does an open wastegate ever get annoying? No, dude. I mean, I love it. I mean, it's not my only car, so it's, yeah. it's not the end of the world if it's uh, if it's a little more obnoxious than my others other rides. So. Yeah. Have you found it to be reliable pretty like, oh, so far? Oh, absolutely. I mean, this car has been swapped for, for, oh God, like almost like six, seven years maybe? It's, it's, it's been swapped for the longest time. And oh, it's yeah. still on its first 1J. Um, so yeah, it's, I mean, they're super reliable, dead reliable. I changed the oil, you know, spark plugs. And yeah. like, uh, yeah, like the worst thing that's gone wrong with it is uh, the uh, fuel pump went out. 
Yeah, that's like one thing these uh, Cressida is. They, they uh, tend to like blow the uh, circuits in the, the HVAC like control units, so. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's unfortunate. It feels pretty good. Like, it's uh, obviously, it's stiff, right? Like, yeah, it's, it's got absolutely. coilovers, but like I said, there's not not much rubbing like it's not yeah. it's not over excessive like right now in some cars on this road it would just be like shh, shh, like yeah. you know like scraping everywhere i mean so i've owned the car for a long time now so i've had a chance to like dial it in exactly you know. yeah the shifter is like pretty uh it's it feels like it's got like molasses in it it's, it's not necessarily <laughs> a bad thing it's very like you know yeah uh, it's got some weight to it yeah i mean a lot of people have some some bad things to say about the Toyota transmissions, whether it be the W58 or the R154, but... Sorry to interrupt you. Go oh, ahead. no worries. That's one thing I don't mind interrupting me. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I mean, they're great. Um, you know, a lot of the guys are switching and tr trying to transition to, you know, whether it be like the Nissan transmissions on the JZ engines or the, uh, the BMW ones, is that starting to be a thing as well now? Oh, really? But, oh, wow. Yeah, because I mean, so those old, like, um, I think E36, E46, they have like Getregs, right? So, yeah. like, yeah. They're, you know, that's like decent, decent trannies in those. Um, there's some adapter kits. I mean, it, it, yeah, just because the Toyota transmissions, I mean, they're, they're good, but they're not great, and now they're getting expensive. So. Yeah, they're good to a to a certain point. And Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so quickly, uh, the engine bay. Yeah. Um, explain what you explained to me earlier about the right. paint job and the cool like character so, that yeah. you have on the valve cover. So <laughs> supposedly the previous owner. Uh, I, I don't know what sort of drugs he was taking, but he had a, a crazy, <laughs> crazy go at the engine bay. Yeah. I mean, when I got the car, um, you know, a lot of people were like, oh man, you gotta paint it, you gotta paint it, that, that's pretty gross. But right, I, I right. fell in love, I was like, yeah, I mean, like, it's pretty crazy, I like it. I mean, and then like, this guy uh, on one of the forums I'm on, he, he hit me up and he's like, hey man, that looks like this like TV show from the 80s, Max Headroom. And I was like, Max what? what is Max, it Max Headroom, I think. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. So I was like, oh man, that's a hilarious TV show. I like watched a couple episodes. I'm like, this shit's insane. So, uh, yeah, painted the guy on the on the valve cover and uh, yeah, just embraced the absolute bonkers. Uh, so not knowing anything about this cartoon and stuff, just fuck yeah, it's 80s. It's, Absolutely, it's, it's just ridiculous. It's period yeah. correct. Yeah, I mean, I think it really <laughs> embraces the sort of no fucks given oh, yeah. ethos of the build, so, yeah. Was it stock when you got it? No, actually, so the engine was originally built by uh, Chris Scrammon. Okay. Um, yeah, he put a, a Scrammon built turbo, turbo on the thing, and, uh, yeah. I mean, it drives pretty good, honestly, like, Steering is, it's really light. It's definitely yeah. really light, but I don't know. It's kind of similar to my MR2, to be honest. Like it's- Yeah, for a car that's like twice the length. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's definitely got like sedan steering, you know? It's oh, not yeah. It's not a GTR. It's not gonna, uh, it's not super twitchy or anything. Yeah. Um, I mean, with the 1J, like it loves to live up in those higher revs anyway. So like you're already up yeah. there. So it's, it's not really turbo leg. It's just the turbo plays where the 1J plays, right? Exactly, so, so yeah, yeah. 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 That's good though. A car that encourages you to play in the top half Absolutely, of the road band is yeah. like, you've got to work for your power. Yeah. Which is good. Honestly, which is kind of why, like I love a good LS swap. Yeah. But it's kind of the reason why I would rather have a 1J than an LS, just because like an LS, you can play between two and 3,000 RPM yeah. and it's just torque all day long, right? Yeah. Whereas this, there's a difference between commuting and Absolutely. you know, scaring your friends. Yeah. How much power did you say this was making? Uh, it's like just under 300 wheels. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, it's nothing crazy. Um, yeah, I mean, right now it's limited. It's uh, still rocking stock injectors, so. Bought it, it had the uh, S9 base kit. Yep. Um, and then one of my buddies, uh, he slid it off uh, the highway. Uh, Actually, so I got in an accident and some lady like hit the rear bumper off the car. She ran a red. Uh-oh. Anyway, so I went to like go pick up. I had to just like re-glass a few things on the rear bumper. So I went yeah. with my buddy. 
we went to uh, Lord Co, picked up some glass, and we were gonna glass that. On the way home, he slid it off the highway going about 70. Um, so then I was just like, fuck it. Like at that point, like that was like where I was like, okay, well, let's just go crazy with it. I uh, talked to G at S9, got yep. the, the front over, uh, the front fenders, the rear overs, you know, and just like went to town on it, so. Hey, it looks awesome, man. Oh, thanks, guys. All right. Well, hey, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Nathaniel's Cressida, badass car. Thanks, thanks, man, for letting me drive oh, no worries, it. Man. Thanks for coming out. It was a good time. Uh, where can people follow you? On Instagram? You got Oh, yeah, Instagram, garage sacrilege underscore in there. Awesome. And, uh, yeah, if you guys like the build, let us know in the comments below. Please share it around. Like us on Facebook, Instagram, all the good stuff. See you next time. fuel efficiency they're made to get you from point a to point b in the most efficient way possible right and then my car the 94 mr2 and you know uh supras and stuff from the 90s were kind of the golden age in japanese automotive engineering so for me it's just a thing of well where did toyota go wrong where did they come from and then what made the mr2 or the supra or anything else from that 90s period kind of be the last